Okay, I just thought I'd do a video on how much power my computer pulls. I'm just running the benchmarking programs now. It's got an HD6950 DirectCU 2 card, FX6100 processor, uh, solid state drive, 1 terabyte drive. Uh, I think it might have. Alright, so you can see it's plugged into the power supply there. And here's the cable here, coming along here. Here's the cable. Let's go through the meter. The meter is reading 107, sorry, 1 amp 75.75, and it's just running through there. I wouldn't go accurately on this one as it's non contact and um, it re even reads a couple of hundred milliamps when it's not even connected to anything. But here we have the power meter. There's the wattage. 447 watts. I'd say this one's more accurate because it works with the power factor and uh, all of that stuff. If we go through function, that, oh, that's how much kilowatts it's been pulling over the past while. That's the voltage. Um, that's the amps. So it's nearly uh, 2 amps. But there's the wattage. These are just simple uh, home smart meters. They're about $35, $40 each. But yeah, I would say they're quite accurate. So I'm running after burn it slightly overclocked. It doesn't like going any further than it is at the moment. There's the GPU temperature, usage, fan speed. I have all six cores running a self-test. So it's just doing the uh, just doing the test. So what's that? That's a doesn't show size. Oh, there it is up there. That's how much it's rendering. So that's quite a large video. That's 38 frames per second. Let's have a look inside the case. No, there's quite a lot of heat coming out the top of the case. Here's the side of the case, I've pulled the two thumb screws out and there's a little handle on the back to just pull it. So here we go. Two fans up there, one there, and that heat is just pouring out. That's the ASUS card. Even the cables are quite hot. Not hot, warm. Power supply. Ah, oh, the power supply is cold. A wireless LAN card there. That's the card there, it takes up three PCI slots. It's got two large fans at the bottom under there. All the SATA connectors and all the front panel connectors, we've well, got two fans there. DVD, RAM, CPU, North Bridges down there, it gets quite hot. Oh, fuck. Fuck me, that's hot. 66 degrees apparently. Works better when the uh, lid's off, but the hard drives are in here. They're hard, they're hard to pull out because all the cables down the back. Of course, I just got these in. Oops. Quite a decent case, I like it. Works better when it's got the cover on the side because the air flow and the air pressure inside's a lot better. But we are still pulling 442 watts. 
1.7. If I put it in the middle, it'll be a bit more accurate. I don't know. All I know is that meter reads a couple hundred milliamps when it's um it hasn't even got anything running through it. And I think we'll stop it. So we've gone back down again now to nothing. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that and it's a standby tip. Standby. 95 watts.